Stay on target. Almost there. Stay on target. Right behind Almost me. Almost there. What? Hello and welcome to this edition of Yakima on Target. I'm your host, Sean Davido, and today I'm joined by Cynthia Martinez, our interim city manager. Thank you for joining us today, Cynthia. Good afternoon, Sean. Thank you for having me. Now, today we want to talk a little bit about you. You've actually been with the city of Yakima for quite some time. Tell us a little bit about you and your normal role with the city. Sure. I've been with the city of Yakima for 22 years, wow. and I've been in municipal government for 25 years. Wow. Um, I've worked, uh, I've, I've actually worked in the legal department for the last 22 years uh, and I've spent the last 15 years as a senior assistant city attorney right. supervising the prosecution division uh, for the city of Yakima. Now, you have a new role as interim city manager. What, what is an interim city manager and what will you be doing for the city? Well, I will be filling the role of the city manager. I will be running the day-to-day -day operations of the city, interacting with council and staff to make sure that the city is functioning uh, the way it should be. Now, recently, Cliffmore, Cliffmore left um, opening this position and you were appointed. How, how were you chosen, chosen for that position? The city council had a, a committee uh, to, to uh, choose an interim city manager and uh, they selected me to fill that role. Now they've also, Cliff before he left also added in, um, he's appointed an interim assistant city manager. Who is that and what will they be, what will they be doing? Sure, that's Scott Schaefer and uh, he will be focusing on, uh, so the assistant city manager focuses on internal operations right. of the city. Uh, cities, uh, very Scott's, broad. Very Scott's, broad. It's very broad, and Scott has, uh, has been the Director of Public Works for a number of years. Uh, he has a lot of experience with the city, and I think he's perfect to fill that role. And it's, it's a big, big job. I mean, you will look at a lot of the legal stuff. It's good to have that kind of a team teamwork together because it's Absolutely. A, it's a the job. city is a large organization. We're a full-service city with numerous departments and uh, you know, I'm new in my role, right. so it will it will definitely uh, be helpful to have that support. Right, and Scott actually moved Dave Brown, who's another uh -huh. long-term city employee, into into the public works director role. Uh -huh. Right, so we're pretty covered. Dave Brown is again uh, very experienced. Uh, he's going to fill that role uh, wonderfully. Uh, also in the in the legal department, Brooke Guzman is right. is filling my role. Right, right. So. so. People, Everything is covered, right. and it's covered by very experienced individuals. Right. Um, let's talk about the process moving forward. We need to replace a city manager. The role you're in is temporary. It is. Um, how, what is the process? What will, we, what will we do to get a new city manager? The city council has uh, already solicited ICMA, which is the International City Managers Association, for applications uh, from individuals who are interested in occupying uh, the position I am, the interim city manager role, on a on a on like, a longer on term a temporary basis. basis. Well, temporary but longer right. term right. Uh, until a uh, until a uh, a permanent city manager is selected. Right until we can until we can search, fill the yeah, fill the until, fill the position. And I'm guessing there will be a national search for that position. Absolutely. Now that. The longer term interim city manager is, is, tends to be someone that's already done this, that may be retired, that has been in the position that can kind of hold, hold the course for the city. Is that the idea of that? The longer term interim city yeah. manager? Yes, that, that is, that's exactly right. Any idea <laughs> how long it would take to actually put someone in the position of a, of a permanent city manager? Um, you know, that's, that search does take a while. Right. Um, you know, I would say if we started tomorrow, we're looking at, uh, at the soon as four months. Right. Um, you know, the, the, of course you want to select the right applicant, right. and so that takes time. Let's talk about the state of the city right now. Mm -hmm. Now, is, the, is Yakima okay? Are we okay? I know the answer to this. Should people be concerned about where we're at? What is the state of our city? Yakima is absolutely fine and will continue to be fine. We have a very strong workforce, a group of dedicated department heads, um, and everybody will continue to do what they are doing today uh, and every day to, uh, 
to keep the city running uh, smoothly. Right. Services will continue. Police will still police. <laughs> Everything will continue as it has been. Um, the fire department yes. will still go out For and put fires out. We'll still fill potholes. Years and years. We'll, <laughs> yes. we'll do everything that the city normally does. You will just be helping to direct them. You and Scott will help keep the ship going until we can get somebody in place. Yes, and dealing with the daily issues. I mean, there's always a new issue that comes up, and uh, Scott and I are poised to deal with those issues. I think that's all I have for you. If you have anything else to add? I don't. Thank you, Sean. Okay. Thank you very much for joining me. And thank you for joining us on Yakima on Target. To contact the Yakima City Manager's Office, call 509-575-6040. For information about the Yakima City Manager search process, contact Communications and Public Affairs Director Randy Beeler at 509-901-1142 or by email at randy.beeler at yakimawa.gov. For current City of Yakima news and information, visit the City website at www.yakimawa.gov. Stay on target. Almost there. Stay on target. Almost there. What? For more information on YPAC programming, please call 575-6092.